the two functions and we need to find this. This means uh, H of G or H composite G. We we'll say H of G. That's how you read that uh, notation. What this means is simply uh, we, we plug in G into H. We're gonna take G, the function G, this one. We're gonna plug that into H. So here's what you do. First, you write the first function h. That's h here. We're gonna write it down. The expression is, so this will be uh, plus five. And I'm not gonna write the x. So that's h, right? I write it, I write it down, but without the x. Because h comes first, h of g. You write the first one as it appears without the x and we're going to plug g into that h g which is here goes into h so what do you think goes into the parentheses here what do you think so this is two x plus three say it again um two x plus three two x plus three that's right it's very simple so you write the first one and without the x, so the first one is h plus x. We don't want to write the x in, into the x. We're going to substitute it with this function g, which is here, given here. So 2x plus 3. That's it. It's all you do to find a composite function. Basically, one is plugged into the other. <clears throat> then you can try to simplify this. Can we do anything to simplify this expression? This? Yes. Will be 2x? Plus 8. Plus 8. That's it. So again, you have two functions. <clears throat> this is not a multiplication. This little circle means uh, of or composite. So that means h of g. The function g goes into each. The second one goes into the first one. First, you want to write out the first one, the h, which is here. So you write it out, but leave in the x or the x's if you have more than one. You leave those blank. Some parentheses, empty space. And inside of the empty space of the x goes the entire second function. So the second function is g. Okay, so it goes, goes into h. Where exactly in h into the, the where the x was. That's why instead of the x here, that blank, we put this is g. Okay? So okay. Thank you. Into that. Okay, so that's what we call the composition of functions, or simply h of g, g of f, and so on. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Everybody else, you guys got this? The class, the whole class, I hope you're here, you're not sleeping or, or texting or something. No, I can't. Uh... Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Any questions about uh, what we just did? No. Okay, let, me, let me do a second one. So we did uh, 17. So you're supposed to do 18. Let me do another one, 16. I think you were supposed to do 16. Let me do 15. So number 15 from homework 10. <coughs> so this time we need to find, uh, what is it? F of H. F of H, what functions do we need? What functions do we need to find f of h? f and h. That's right. Obviously, we're going to need f and h. f is also given. It's written in the problem. <clears throat> x is second plus 4. And h is the same one as before. Let me write, write it down again here. h of x. Which is uh, 
2x or x plus 5. We have f of h, and the question is to find f of h. So which function goes into which? What goes into what? So... <laughs> so h will go into x? Uh, h goes into? F. F, that's right. Which one do we write first? Uh, f. f. That's right. That's F. How do you write F? How do you write it? Without? Um, without the X. Without the X. That's right. That's F, which is here. So we're going to write it out. Just leave the X blank, but keep the power. Plus 4. Just leave that blank. You don't want to put the X. What goes into this empty space of the X? What goes into um, H? That's so right. um, plus five, no, X plus five. That's right, so that's H, so H goes into F. <coughs> H is this, H plus five. <coughs> and that's pretty much it. It might not be as easy as this one to simplify, but you can leave it like this. Uh, if you want, you can distribute it can distribute this expand it first and then add the four or better just leave it like this since it requires a lot of work to be simplified not a lot of work but a significant amount of work but leave it like this but if it's something as simple as this you can easily just combine these two terms here we can't just combine five and four because we have this second power here you'll have to break it down first and then um, combine like those but for now uh, that says for, for this one, you can just leave it like this. Uh, unless it's something like this, then you can uh, expand it. <clears throat> okay, does that make sense? Yes. Good, good. Who asked, uh, asked this question? Shania, right? Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Was, was you asked about uh, 18, right? Yeah, 18. Okay, so these two are similar to 18. So I'll let you do 18 later. Um, one more question. I'm um, just number 28. 28, same, same uh, homework? Yeah, same homework. Okay, let me scroll down. Uh, what, what number again, I'm sorry? 20? 28, you said, uh, Shania? Shania, what was the... Question number again, I'm sorry. Oh, 28, 28. 28, <clears throat> okay. Um, so this is 28, G of, G of G of one. G of G of one, what is G? Let me find G. Uh, what is G? <clears throat> So let me actually share my screen for this one. I'm gonna share the screen here. All right, you guys see my screen, right? Yes. All right, so uh, Shania is asking about 28, but instead I'm gonna do 27. It's similar, and I'll let you do 28 later. So f of f of four, f of f of four. This time we have a number instead of x. Um, so what we're doing is we're gonna plug, basically we're plugging f into f, but which f? We don't have a function, instead we have a value, and we have a table of values. So first we wanna find this one, f of four, f, of four by itself. When we find that value, we're gonna plug it into the first function, which happens to be f as well. So what is f of four? That's the table for f, this is for g. What is f of four from this table? Three. When x is four, that's right, when x is four. 
f of x is 3. So again, f of 4. This number here is the x. And for that x, the f of x is 3. OK, now this two is 3. f of 4 is 3. We're going to take that 3 and plug it into f. So now we need to find f of 3. This turned out to be 3. What is f of 3 from the table again? 1. 1. Exactly. OK, so first you find this f of 4. f of 4 is 3. <clears throat> you take that 3 we got from here. You plug that into f. You take that 3 that we got from f of 4. You plug that into f. So now we need to find f of 3. You go to the table again. f of 3 means that x is 3. So f of 3 will be 1. OK, so this will be 1. Got it? Yep. All right, so same thing for G. 28 will give you, I'll give you an idea. So we're going to find G of 1, whatever it is, and you take that G of 1 and you plug it into a G again. This is the table for G. You have all the values you need, so you got to start from here, finding G of 1. When you find that G of 1, plug that again in the same function, which happens to be G. If you have two different functions, it works the same way. Let's try to do 25. So which one do we find first to do 25? Um, G. Now this is 25. So which value, not, not which one we write first, but which one we find first. If we have X here, if it was an X, then you would write G first and put F into G. But now we have a specific value. You have to evaluate one first and then evaluate the second one. So which one do we find first? Just like we did with 27 and 28. F of three. That's right. So we're going to find F of three. And whatever that is, what is F of three again? One. One. So F of three, that means X is three. The so X is three. F of three will be one. And what do we do with the one? Put it in the G. That's right. So F of three is one from the table of F. Now we're going to take the one, we're going to plug it into G. So we're going to do G of one. What is G of one from the table? <coughs> Nine. Nine, exactly. So G of one, that's one, G of one. If you plug one here, it would be G of one, which is nine. Okay, so if you have a specific value, you want to evaluate this first. But if you have X, as we saw earlier, you want to plug one function into the other. If you have x here, instead of a specific value, so we can't find f of x, so that's when you write this one first, h. And into that, <coughs> you write the h, uh, h first without the x, and you put f into that empty space of the x. OK? okay. Makes sense? Yes. Very good, very good. Everybody else, Elizabeth, Shanae, Zahir, Elva, Fiona, iPhone, Lauren, Ruby, Saleha. Uh, any questions from the homework, from the book, from anywhere? No, Professor. Okay. No questions here either. No. Okay.